everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are in a different setting today. This is gonna be an interesting kind of Mod Podge kind of video, but we are at the Arctic Fox and we got some nice <laughs> cold beverages here. I have the, their chai tea latte and I got William their Arctic Fox, which is a cold brew with vanilla cream. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But, we are out in Tallahassee. Yes, yeah, so we had to make a trip out to Alabama to drop off our kids with the grandparents. So, hope they have a lot of fun. <laughs> Where we decided to stay after dropping off the kids uh, was the Double Tree in downtown Tallahassee. Yep. And it's a really unique place. Uh, from like the decor and everything, it's unlike any double tree I've ever stayed in. Yeah. And so we will show you all of that footage right now. All right, we are first gonna start off with showing you guys the room that we stayed in. As you can see, we stayed in a king size bed room. I love all the modern kind of furniture fixtures and everything. Everything is very bright and open. Plenty of USB out plugs and that on the lamp, which is very easily accessible next to the bed, which I love. And they had a lot of really just neat artwork, a lot of very whimsical artwork and modern furniture. We stayed on the 11th floor, so here is a beautiful look of downtown Tallahassee. And I really love this full-size mirror that they have in this room, so you can get ready for your night on the town. They have also a closet right by the door when you enter. So there's plenty of room in here to tuck away your luggage, plenty of hangers if you have jackets or dresses or anything like that that you need to hang up. And next to that, we have the sliding door that's frosted that leads into the bathroom. really love the lighting in here you got between like the harsher lighting on the outside with the really soft lighting that's inside the mirror which is really nice to put on makeup and that we have our verbena uh bath products they have a sliding door shower i thought it was really interesting that though the knob to turn it on was right in front of you and not underneath the faucet which was a little off-putting to try to adjust the temperature in my case but it had good uh water pressure and it was an enjoyable shower and we'll just take one quick last look at the overall hotel room we had a good stay so this next part is kind of filmed in reverse since I filmed it the following morning when we woke up. But here is a walkthrough of the lobby area. This is the part that I was talking about how unique it is. It feels very kind of fantasy-like, very Alice in Wonderland, a lot of people say. And I'd have to agree with that from the furniture to the long scape tabletop you can almost picture having like you know a tea party with the mad hatter and hair uh so i just i really love the the character of this overall hotel
as you guys just saw from what we checked in yesterday, um, I know we touched on it, but less than 100 bucks. Like, couldn't beat it. Couldn't ask for a better room for what we paid for. The bed was super soft, but I prefer like a soft bed over a hard mattress. Yeah. And uh, the pillows were also extremely soft. I would have preferred the pillows a little firmer. Yeah, it was um, nice. But it was a nice hotel and we got dinner there too because it was just such a very long day. So we just ended up having dinner at the hotel. Very few options, yeah. uh, but my salmon was really good. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it's called Jacob's on the Plaza is the name of the restaurant in the hotel. And again, it was really good. Um, salmon was really good. We kind of just shared it. Um, neither of us were really, really hungry. Um, but yeah, that and some pretzel bites and cheese and that was all that she really wrote with that. Passed out. Died. Yep. Died. Went to bed, passed out. So this morning, after we left the hotel, we went to a place called Market Grove out here in Tallahassee. It's a breakfast lunch place. Yeah. And we will throw in what we got and our footage of that, of our overall experience now. No. So William got the stuffed French toast with cream cheese and strawberries. It was super sweet, but it was very good. If you like things really creamy, almost like a dessert for breakfast, this is your dish. He also got on the side their biscuits and sausage gravy. I think we would have preferred the sausage to have like bigger chunks and more of it, but the gravy overall on the biscuits were really, really good. And of course the biscuits were light and fluffy. I got their blueberry compote pancakes. I hardly ever get pancakes for breakfast and these were really good. I really enjoyed them. And we also got their coffee there, which is locally grown within the area somewhere i believe and we actually picked up a bag and i cannot believe we left it there sitting right at the counter so i hope we were able to bless someone with some free coffee at least because we forgot it and well whoops they also have other pastry goods though that they make from scratch on site along with homemade pies which looked amazing i can't wait to come back to this place and try out some of their pies next time i guess the only other thing was i mean we grabbed breakfast and then we went oh we went to the market we yeah we swing back by the hotel because as we left this morning there was a little market that was setting up out front and um yeah so we swing back through there um, picked up a couple of things, just souvenirs from our trip out here. Uh, made a couple of new friends. Um, and we're going to throw that footage in now. So, yeah, we walked around this cute little open air market. It is open from March to November every Saturday. And they have a lot of local little artists there. One of the ones we stopped by was this pin place. And there was two guys there that do custom pins. One is by Wright Turns Inc. by Bruce Justum and Alan Smith with Creative Pins. And they have a lot of really neat stuff there. Bruce was nice enough to show us some of his work and even gave us a look at how he makes the pins. This is called a pen press. So I lock that down and then I press it. Okay. There's no way you can pull that apart. Okay. And then I'll take the top part. Okay. And I line the clip up with the with the seam there. I like and I'll press that. So now we have the body of the pen. Open it up. That's how you replace the cartridges. This is a part for cartridges. All my pens have replaceable cartridges. Okay. So put that in there. Now this particular pen, 
there's a double turn on one at the top of the spring and a single turn at the bottom. If you put them on the opposite direction, it grabs, and sometimes you can't, it won't come out. So if you ever replace a cartridge, make sure you put the single edge of the spring on first. Because what, I'll show you what happens in just a second. And you just put that on. And now you have a 30 caliber bolt action pin. And if, you, and if you put it in backwards, it'll get to about there and stop it. It's okay. and it won't go any farther. So if you did get one of these pens, that's that's kind of a trick to it. Yeah. Okay. And that's how I make the Second Amendment. The next booth that we stop by is by Johnson Rustics Candles and more. I picked up a candle that has white tea, peppermint, and eucalyptus in it. It has just that nice, cozy, woodsy smell to it, which I think smells amazing. Her husband also does these really neat antler works from, you know, roasting hot dogs uh, when you're going camping to a lot of bartender accessories. So we picked up a bottle opener there. Not this one that's shown, but we did pick up one. It's really, really neat. I highly recommend checking out her, her booth. As you saw that we went to a couple booths and we filmed some of uh, this, this uh, group of guys that, that yeah. did uh, handmade pins. Yeah, Bruce was the guy that we mainly talked to. Um, and he's, he's a really, really great guy. And I mean, I, I'm, as you saw in the video, um, he basically kind of took us through soup to nuts, what they do when they make the pens. Um, he talked us through how they place it in a, uh, acrylic resin, they lathe it and turn it, and then put the pen together, um, and it, I mean, it's just an absolute amazing job what he does. Um, I'm definitely going to be ordering several pens from him. I picked up one pen, um, which we'll throw a picture of in now. Um, that is olive, olive wood. Yeah. And from Jerusalem. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. Uh, but I'm going to definitely be ordering like three or four more pens from him in the next like three or four months, probably like one a month. Uh, just gifts and that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, it's just, it was a really, really great trip. And then there was that other booth that we went to yes. that had a lot of like antler kind of, what would you say? Not decor, just ex accessories. but accessories. Yeah, bar accessories um, or fire pit accessories. So they had the bottle openers, wine stoppers, and the, um, forks for like hot dogs and marshmallows if you're doing s'mores over an open fire. Yeah, those are really, those are yeah. really, really cool. And but definitely. if any of that stuff interests you, uh, they do ship. I know at least, at least the, the, the pin company, they do ship. And, and the, we will and leave, the other one does as well. yeah, we'll leave all of that information down in the description box down below. Yes. So if any of that interests you. <laughs> and I thought it was really neat that that market though took place outside of the hotel. Yeah. So right you just, there in just a little courtyard. walk across the street. You don't even have to really go out yeah. if you don't want to. Well, we wanted to do so much more and really, you know, visit some of the touristy locations, but this trip kind of got away from us a little bit. Some unexpected things happened, but that's life. Yeah. I sure hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to Smash subscribe. Smash the subscribe button. Smash it now. Do it. And as always, you guys, an ordinary life is truly extraordinary. We hope to see you guys on our next adventure. Bye. Bye-bye.